Oh yeah, man. I mean, shit. Uh, I got going. Hold on. I want to get my boy Da in the uh in the shot, man. Black Mark. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's happening, man? What's up, world? It's your boy Mark Walter Ward, Super Fast Show, Super Fast Network. I got a big smoking mixture here and Da the Black Monks. How you doing tonight, y'all? What's happening, man? Chilling. Chilling, chilling. Shit, I, I appreciate having y'all on my Houston episode, but you know, I, I know you got current music, so please t- tell the people what you got out now, what you, what, what you plan on releasing, and who I want to go first. I mean, uh, uh, this this big smoking Mitch, UGK, all day, you know what I'm saying, and a soul click also. Uh, right now. As you all know, I've, I've been on quite a few UGK projects. Only one actually uh, came out, which was three in the morning on the Riding Dirty album. Uh, that's out now, of course, you know. Uh, then, you know, we have uh, Inner Soul, Click, DJ DMD and Inner Soul, Click, uh, on the album 22, uh, on a song called It's the B-U-D. You know, uh, me and my 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 uh, blood brother Superb her may he rest in peace, and my brother uh, Lee Master. You know, Mash One. You know, and uh, as far as my uh, albums is concerned, you know, I got uh, Big Mitch is still smoking. That came out in 2013, and now me too. I. Yeah. I said, listen to it too. That's a good album. Oh man, I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it. And uh, of course, the one that's out now, Big Mitch is the Foundation. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's 2018 or 2019. So. Uh, I don't know, but I know it's on Spotify and it be jamming. Oh man, I appreciate that, man. You know, I I try to uh, put what we've always done into our music just just my way you know what i'm saying uh i don't try to be you know exactly like my brothers chad and bun you know i always represent ugk my way as long as it's positive you know uh you know we those interviews really put it in perspective those quotes from Tim. right right and 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 i i figured it i figured that it would you know what i'm saying it would help explain you know everything and how how things you know come along as the album goes along. I figured that those skits in between would, would help a lot. Uh, they, they, they definitely did. Right. And so, what do you got coming in the future? Because I, I know you ain't gonna stop making music. Well, it's a whole lot, man. We uh. <laughs> Right now, uh, me and DA. Because you, you got yourself a whole, a whole record label now, right? Oh yeah, Underground Legend Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, founded in 2013, and I'm the only artist on the, on the label. Uh, I feel like I should be the only artist on that particular label because you know I want to find out exactly how this independent game is ran before I began to start signing different artists and, and, and different people, you know, to contracts and things of that nature. So, you know, I decided to just be the one to do all the studying and, and put the music out on my own label. And instead of, you know, going to these majors and, and getting fucked and, and hold, you know, and that's just not what I'm in this shit to do, you know what I'm saying? To right. get to get done bad by these record labels. That is that is that is uh uncivilized. Shit. Hell yeah, indeed. But so as a, as a, personally you do you do have some projects coming out this year? Yes, sir. Uh DA and I, we have a project coming out. Oh y'all y'all got a joint, a joint together? 
we we have a whole EP. Man, that, 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 that's what's up. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's, it's yeah, called. Yeah, so, 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 so people who ain't familiar, can you give a, be, uh, a brief background of, of your career thus far? Yeah, uh-oh. What happened? Oh, shut hold on. on. Hold on. It's, 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 it's all good. You can keep talking, though. This, this, this is going to be our audio on Spotify, Apple Stitcher, where you get your podcast. All right. Super Pack Show, Super Packs Network, at Mark Waldo Ward on Instagram. Got you. Super yeah. Show on Instagram. Got so, yeah. you. Um, well, first and foremost, uh, I go by DA of the Black Monks. Um, I also go by the name of Ukraine. Sounds like the country Ukraine, but spelled Y E U Q R A N. Um, I was five percenter long, long, long time ago. That's where the name came from. When I uh, when I exited uh, Rap a Lot and Virgin Records, I took that name, you know, and just kept going with it. So I, I produced a I produced a few underground acts through, through the years, and you know, uh, you know. Kept doing a little bit of rhyming and kind of saw, you know, I, I've seen the changes happening with the, you know. With and, and you had a major retail release on Rap a Lot Records that I bought in, in a mall in Virginia when I lived in the D.C. area because there was no malls where we were at. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I, you know what, I, uh, I I tell folks all the time, I'm like, you know, if, if you know, if the people who don't know about it, you know, just, you know, go on YouTube. Now, that's another thing. It's like. We have uh, about 64, 64 fan-made uh, videos on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> Black Month, Black, but I don't know who all these fans are. But I get hits every so often from around the world. You know, uh, you know when, when you gonna come do a show here? When you gonna come do a show there? And unfortunately, a lot of a lot of folks don't don't know that three two uh, three two passed away. Um, yeah, you know, rest in peace, Buddha baby. He, and and uh, and the other member, he's doing his own thing. So really, it's it's only me and the girl that was with us. Her name Storm from from the second album. She's doing her own thing. We're about to do a little something of uh, uh, going to St. Louis and do a little something with her. But other than that, uh, just been uh, I, I never stopped doing any you know doing production because I, I did production on on both Black Monk albums, which. You know, <laughs> didn't really. You know, well, I, I won't get into all that business, but uh, yeah. It's... But I mean, I, I mean, musically they came out well. We can certainly say that. Yeah, but so so right now, yeah, it's, it's just me and this man. You know, putting putting uh putting our project together. It's gonna be called the King and the Monk, and uh, you know, we got a few a uh, few joints that's kind of. We're, I'll say this, we, we have something that is going to appeal to to the crowd that's our age and also, you know, to, to the new, you know, you know, to the new ones that don't know, even know about UGK or Black Monks, you know, because you got to stay with the times, you got to keep up right. with the time. And we're not, you know, we, we, we don't want to come off like, oh, oh, you know, these, you know, these, you know, these OGs trying to get back in and trying to do this. Stuff. No, no, it's like either you like us or you don't like us. It's, right. It is what it is. We ain't trying to conform. We ain't trying to sound like this person, that person, that person. You know, nothing like that. We, you know, we oh, do yeah, all that. Be right. You know, exactly. So, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, especially, especially like like the sound that y'all been up to this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see the overlap y'all have musically, but that's still an interesting combination. Very interesting. You know, uh, that's that's one of the reasons why we decided to get together. I mean, we. We've been doing music for years, man, and and one thing about it is, you know, with Chad, we we've always done music with him also. So you know, we've always known each other. We've been knowing each other since junior high school. Yeah. So so we know each other very well. Getting together and doing music is just a mere formality for us. You know, we, we know. And, and you know, y'all brothers say that though, it, it ain't just rapping though. Like, y'all really be doing music. Like, like it's live instrumentation. You know? Oh, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it, we, it's like we, get, we get into bridges, it. Hooks, song and, that, and, and that's the difference between music producers and beat makers. No disrespect to my beat makers out there, but, you know, it takes talent. Like, for real. Like, I tell some of these, like, like some of these beat makers that come to me sometimes, ask me for advice and this and that and the other. I say, you know, that's the difference. But I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I was born to to do what I do. 
Right. I mean, you know, nowadays you can take like you know uh, uh, a Cubase and and reasons and and you know uh, uh, ProLogic and all these other you know what I'm saying all these other programs. You press one button, that's the, the beats already made. Another button, uh, <laughs> the rhythm already made, baseline already made. They think they'd have made a hit in 10, 15 minutes. But if Janet Jackson popped up on one of these beat makers, they'd be like, oh, 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 you know. But I could give Janet Jackson a whole fucking, you know, you know. But I could give Janet a whole damn album if she came to me, cause I'm a, I'm a fucking music producer. I listen to everything. I listen to heavy metal. I listen to everything. Yeah, he does. So, you know, and and no disrespect to him, but it's like you know we trying to bring the game back to you know back back to what it used to be, which is organic shit that shit that really meant something. Cause you know I, people ask me all the time, say well, you know what what do you think about the state of hip hop, the state of music right now? And I don't diss, I don't judge. I just say, well, it doesn't vibe with my spirit. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't vibe with my spirit. I'm not interested, and if I'm not interested in it, I don't pay attention. And if I don't pay attention, I don't know who the fuck you are. That's right. So I can't even say, well, I don't like this rapper, I don't like that rapper, I don't like this producer. I don't pay attention to who is this, who is this, who is this. Right. But you know, if I'm saying who is this, obviously they ain't vibing with my spirit. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, that, that's because you already know that the system ain't gonna feed you what you need to get. You know exactly. I mean? like, 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 I'm sure you fuck up with like Kendrick Lamar though. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's still no good shit out there. But yeah, I mean, you definitely right. It's really hard. It's hard to find that shit on, on, on the quote unquote radio or wherever you get music from. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Like, yeah. Like you, you got kind, you got kind of search for that. I mean, there, 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 there is some solid young artists. You know what I mean? But it, 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 it's hard to get through the clutter because it seems like it's a, it's a million and five rapper, new rappers every week. Oh yeah. How could you even know know that shit? You know? It's it's impossible, man, because it's. Because the way the game is is manufactured now, everything is cluttered. And I, I bet you it's, it's at least ten thousand cats that got a video that got over a million views. And how in the fuck did you know that many people? It, absolutely. So you know some things is going on behind the scenes that's making it look like yeah, it's bigger or more than what it is. Which okay, the business has always been like that, and that's what true artists are trying to get away from. You know, I, I'm not fixing to pay no motherfucker to come, and, you know, so, okay, let, let me let me pay for likes or let me pay for views. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't, you know, that that that's that's not what I'm about. It's the wackest, fakest shit. You know what I'm saying? I want organic shit. I want, I want to touch people like, okay, you like my shit? Okay, I want to talk to you. I want to see why you like what it is that we're doing. You know what I mean? This is this is what I'm trying to get to the point of doing because everything is still being controlled by the industry. Yeah, yeah. Especially this streaming shit. It's all being controlled by the industry. Don't get it. Like twisted. they say, YouTube's like the big chance for independence, but you see all the shit for most of you for, for the most part is all shit by this control yeah. by the industry. Right. Half this shit is, is not good. It's, it's not even about talent or the, or the way anything sounds or lyrics anymore. It's about likes. It's about popularity. But, you you know, you you can spray paint a piece of shit. It's still going to be That's shit. It's going to be a piece of shit. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the one thing I got to say, though, brother, like, like you know, living in, in the South, South Atlantic and, and, you know, going up, up in New York and shit like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I've been, but I've been a fan of rap a lot since, like, the mid-90s and shit. And, you know, like, in the D.C. area, we always had an ad love for rap a lot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so, so, you know, we, we was champions selling rap before that shit was cool, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I mean, like, like anybody from D.C. that might have got their seats on 43. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I remember there was a time where people were saying that about y'all music. Yeah. You know, like, like, like we can't understand that shit. We Absolutely, like man. Stress. We don't like the way they talk. <laughs> and I understand that. You know what I mean? Because like we have been young once before. You know, and the, the, the R&B singers, the soul singers was like, what the fuck is this? They taking our music. They, you know, they doing this. They doing that to it. We don't like it, and then we not getting paid for it. So they had every right to gripe. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we were only taking music that inspired us when we were yay high to a grasshopper. And we was just redoing it sort of the way that they did it. You know, because we wanted to stay true to the original form of that song. And see, that had to be explained to the old heads. Like, that had to be explained. That, that's a little ironic, too, though, brother, because y'all kept the funk, right? Right. And, and, and they got the funk from James Brown. And then right. they had to explain that to James Brown. Right. <laughs> I mean, imagine trying to explain that to James Brown. You know what I'm saying? Point, though, like, he just accepted it, like, you know, this shit gonna evolve. Exactly. But he had to accept it. And somebody had to explain it to him in his language. Word. Well, he overstood it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the same way that's like, like, like young kids getting turned on to UGK. You know, they have, somebody have to explain to them in their language what we mean to the culture. Yeah. And then now you got to go further than that because now you got to understand where our basics came from, which is James and and Frankie and 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 uh, you know just just a, a plethora of old school people that we listened to back in the day that we drew a lot of you know uh, a lot of ideas from. So, and, uh, you know, this done turned into a whole real episode, so I've always been curious. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know where you're from, if you're from Houston or Port Arthur, but... PA, baby. Yeah, from Port Arthur. What? PA. Land of the Trill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Originator, uh, right? It's, 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 so, so how much was Janis Joplin's presence felt by y'all musically? Oh, oh, man. Janis is the queen, yeah. Man. That's so, so y'all like rocking with Big Brother and the Holding Company and all that good shit. Man, y'all. look, Austin, Texas, is like her second home. Mm-hmm. Austin loved her, and she didn't even start in Austin. She was doing spots like Lake Charles. She was she was traveling with black musicians mm-hmm. to Lake Charles. Doing high school, they called her ugly, and the only people next to her in the whole town was black people. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they they was very mean to this young lady, yeah. and it wasn't the black people that was mean to her. It was her own people. Mm-hmm. They disowned her because they knew she was associating with black people. And, and you you know what else, brother? I bet you a dollar to a donut. The same people that were saying that shit to her grew up and complained about their kids getting bullied in school. <laughs> of, of of course. Yeah. Of course, and people got away with it That's right. it's not like enough. gangbusters then. You understand what I'm saying? Why it why yeah. else why else is it that when she came to Port Arthur for her class reunion that she said she's not coming back to this motherfucker no more? And she didn't. Nope. <laughs> she did not. I don't even believe the woman is buried here. There, there's memorabilia of her in uh, in uh, Port Arthur uh, uh, Museum, but as far as like yeah, like like you said, you know where she's buried and all this, uh, you know, who knows? But yeah, she didn't want to come back here to this motherfucker. <laughs> now her house, the original house that her and her parents lived in, there's a staple in front of her house. You know where you know the 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 the, the things that they put in. Front of historical um, places, right. there's a his like little elevated sign to tell like right, right. It's it's, it's, yeah. it's right there, right there in front of the exact house that she lives that she lived in. That house is still standing, the original house, and people still live in that house. And that house, as it is now, has not been changed since the fifties. Should I like to see that one day? I have yeah, to shit, take. I, I, I'll take I, I, a picture I, I of it. You, I bet you ain't drinking no Southern Comfort, though, is you, brother? No, no. I'm, I'm drinking yeah. some. I'm drinking some shit. Some, some, some yak from uh, straight from France called Ville of uh, Ville France Cognac, V S O P. Shit, that's what's up. Yeah. Well, before before we get out of here on this one, y'all got anything you want to shout out? Plug your social medias, any projects to buy, anything. 
man. Where they get them beats at? DA, I'm gonna let you go uh, first. Well, uh, first of all, I'm on I'm on Instagram. Uh, what the hell is my damn Instagram name? <laughs> it should be uh, uh, the, <laughs> D dot A dot dash uh, Black Monk. Uh, it's, it's one of them. I don't know. Uh, honestly, you know, I've been pushing myself to get on social media, but because I'm just like I'm a private person, and it's like now we're in this era where it's like you know, show everything, show, show your whole life, show you know. I come from the era where it's like, nah, you don't let everybody in, into your motherfucking life. That's nah, right. everybody is like, what you do? What you do? When you went to the store? What did I? I don't give a fuck about all that, so I gotta make myself get home. That, 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 that's just annoying shit. The shit that really be killing me is like showing the family shit. Like, like no I shit, man. It. Yeah, no right. shit, yeah. bro. No shit. But, uh, especially when they be upset with their family. You know what I'm saying, man? I, I, right. I, I just could never. I could never. Like, can you yeah. imagine going outside when you was young and telling people at the park? about some shit that went on in your house. Yeah, you know, man, they don't want to hear about that shit some because shit, they're going through their own shit. You like you have a snitch already. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. some, some shit you need to keep in your fucking house. But I said all that to say, uh, those out there who know about the black monks and know about Ukraine, who know about me by myself, um, uh, if you go on YouTube and type in black monks, it's like we have page after page. I don't know who all these wonderful fans are. 200,000 hits, 300,000, 600. I don't know who all these people are, but I am the same guy on Instagram. That's me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, DA, DA Black Monk on Instagram. Cause there seems to be a disconnect. Cause people ask like, you know. I think it's DA Ukraine. It might be DA Ukraine. Well, no, I don't know, but <laughs> but but I'm the same guy. The, the, the one thing I'm gonna tell you this, there was, there was a promoter in Houston named DA. He got killed back when we were a group doing our thing. So a lot of people think I'm dead. Cause they said, oh, you know, man. it was a rumor going, DA is dead, DA died, DA died. No, that was a whole different DA, you know? And that would've been that early internet shit too. So that's like super Googleable if they put it like DA Houston and shit, you know what I mean? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Bro. So when I say, you know, when I, I don't really tell, yeah, it's me, it's me. That ain't, I'm not even that type of dude. You know who I am? Or, or you don't, right? But I'm saying it now. Yes, I'm. I am DA of the Black Monks. I am that same guy, and we're gonna become me and this man coming with some serious shit sometime this year. And I got my own EP. I just I released, and it's on uh, iTunes right now. Actually, I went through TuneCore, so it's uh, it, it's 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 in a few stores. But you know, that's something I'll be pr- promoting later on. But you that's can just get a little it. bit something. It's 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 it, 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 it'll be like in the show tones and in the Dirty Glove Master post about about this episode so they'll definitely be able to check it out when they hear this mm-hmm. uh, or see or and, see it and y'all will be definitely definitely pleased because it's black monk right. shit he hasn't he hasn't derived from the sound because he is the sound you know what I'm saying right. yeah they, they had other producers but he is the sound just updated the 2021 so that's I, you it know, <laughs> that's all it, it, yeah. it ain't no it ain't no shit that make you think oh man this just sound like it's from the night no this shit this is some over top shit where motherfuckers gonna be like god damn we ain't never thought of making no shit like that that's so right. yeah i'm i'm so far ahead of my competition it ain't even competition i'm in a whole other motherfucking lane that we were in the la- the, the whole other lane when we came out in the middle of the gangster shit era here we come the black monks uh, you know, even RZA himself, when I, uh, we performed at South by Southwest, RZA came up to me. He came up to me. I was 19. No, I was 21 years old. This dude came up to me. Yo, kid. Yo, kid. Yo, yo, yo. You niggas is like the southern version of us, kid. We need to do a black monk Wu Tang album. Yo, 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 kid. Yo, kid. But then my labels uh, didn't want to do it. <laughs> Uh, well, well, when one of the guys, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice about this, said they pretty much got in the way. And if I'd have had a pencil that day, I'd have been the first, I'd have been John Wick before John Wick. I'm gonna just leave it like that. <laughs> that shit fucked my head up. I was like, what the hell? You got in the middle of me and RZA? But anyway, <laughs> so. We got stories for days. Yeah, we got stories for days. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. And how about you, Big Mitch? You got anything? You shout your socials or anything before we get out of here for this episode? I'm on uh, Instagram, MQJ73, uh, Facebook, 
Big Mitch UGK. Uh, Spotify, the same thing. Big Mitch UGK. You know, uh, YouTube, Big Mitch UGK. Uh, just putting out, I, I, I got a special project coming out in a couple of months. And you guys are going to be very, uh, very surprised and very pleased when you hear it because it's, and, and this is the, the second time that I'm saying this on an on a interview or a podcast. The project is called UGK90. Why is it called UGK90? It's because Chad and I was UGK first. And we did a lot of music back in the day. And between 88 and 90, we did an album and we put the album together, me and him. We put it, all the songs in order, me and him. And, right. and the uh, it's being only printed on vinyl. I'm not doing any CDs right now. I'm not doing any uh, USBs. Strictly vinyl. And it will probably be out for the summer. You know, I got all the, the artwork done. All of that is done and DA did the artwork for this project. Uh, I have my press, you know, my test pressings. I have those. I've listened to them. They sound great. And the great thing about this, and I'm going to keep it short, but the great thing about it is it came from the original cassette that Chad and I had done. And what happened was I sent that cassette off to a cat that uh, does Michael Jackson, Prince, these type of people, he masters their projects. Gotcha. So I sent- so That's that A1. Yeah, so I sent that off to him to master that project. And when I tell you it came back sounding like a CD, it came back sounding like a CD. So, yes, sir. I have a compilation of songs. It's 11 songs. And they're strictly, strictly going to be on vinyl. Not going to tell you what the price is going to be, but it's not going to be cheap. Uh, no, it should be. And uh, I guarantee it that when you hear what we put out. When you hear this album, you're going to understand why UGK is the way UGK is. There will be no doubt in your mind. You'll be like, okay, that's why their sound is the way that it is. DA can attest to it because I came and brought my turntable here and played the test copy for him. And he tripped out. He was like, man, I was there when y'all was making some of them songs. Yeah. <laughs> and the quality was not there. Yeah. But the quality is there, man. And they came straight from the original cassette tape. Mixed already by Chad. He mixed every song. And each one of them songs have a story too. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and 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 mind you, oh shit! If that's going to be another thing, because I'm going to tell the story behind every one of those songs that were made. Shit, oh, that's what's up, yeah, man. we got some things happening, man. Oh uh, yeah, well, we can't end it on no bad note for that, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. The Super Fast Show, Super Fast Network. Y'all have a good night. Man, I appreciate the opportunity, Mark, and I'll be in touch with you very soon, brother, with some other brothers that you can holler at also. 
I know you own your shit. Nah, you bro, like, like bro, in the nineties, man, I swear to God, I was up in PG County, like, like I, I grew up near where Kevin Durant from, but like where he lived at, they wouldn't come where I lived at, and, and, and like we had I Squad, um, yep. Dorsell, Black Monks, Fifth Ward Boys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, 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 even the little youngins behind me, you know, like in the 2000s, they know how to get their hands on middle fingers and all that type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, 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 like the DMV always been big on, on all that Houston PA. You know, we 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 fuck with bone hard too back in the day. But yeah, of course, bone. I mean, you can't help but fuck with bone. Shit, way, way before it was cool. Do or die. Yeah. With Twister. Yeah, but like, you know, like, 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 if you went any, any more north than D.C., they turn their nose up at all that shit automatically, like Philly, Baltimore, Boston, New York. But you know what? That That's one thing about our group. It's like we got more love outside of the South, us, as, as black monks. We got more love outside of the South because being in the South, people really didn't understand us. It's like, what the hell these motherfuckers that... You what know, are they talking about? You know, yeah, and- I wish I could have caught you on an album run on, on the East Coast. I'm sure that would have been phenomenal. Oh, they love us. They loved us out there. And the one thing people don't know, Bushwick Bill, Bill was the brainchild behind us. Bill Bill put me, 3-2, and AWOL together. And uh, literally, you know, m- m- much love and props, rest in peace. Uh, as my brother, he, yeah, brother, you Bill. know, he he's he was a very 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 intelligent guy.